टुडे वी विल फोकस ऑन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रोलिंग एंड स्लाइडिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी ओके सो दिस वन इज अ रोलिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग ओके वेयर वी हैव द इन साइड देर इज एन रोलर ओके एंड द आउटर केज इनर केज एंड द सपोर्टिंग टू द रोलर्स but in roller contact bearings you can see only the bush here okay and the bearing housing okay so this one is a bearing in bush type and the housing bearing housing okay so here you can see the difference between rolling and sliding contact bearing okay so rolling contact bearing it is in smaller in size okay and the sliding contact bearing it comes in the larger size than the rolling contact bearing okay and the rolling contact bearing has the uh, uh, failure chances is uh, failure chances are higher and in the sliding contact bearing failure chances are uh, lower because of the housing it supported okay and the continuous lubrication supply is needed in the uh, rolling contact bearing whereas in the sliding contact bearing continuous supply is not needed okay and the uh, rolling contact bearing it is suitable for a high speed application whereas the sliding contact bearing it is not suitable for high speed applications okay and uh, here in the rolling contact bearing uh, maintenance is less and long life and sliding contact bearing having maintenance is more and short in life okay so uh, here the for rolling contact bearing uh, weight is low and for sliding contact bearing weight is uh, weight is more okay so the important point here is for rolling contact bearing the starting torque, uh, torque is low okay and for sliding contact bearing the starting torque is high okay uh, and Uh, here you can see the axle length is short okay axle length is short and but in uh, because of the bush we are using so the axle length is larger okay for sliding contact bearing okay and uh, this rolling contact bearing it is suitable for to take the shock load okay and uh, for sliding contact bearing it is not suitable for the uh, uh, shock load okay so frictional is lower uh, lower in the sliding contact means a rolling contact bearing so rolling contact bearing we generally call it as a anti frictional bearing and the sliding contact bearing we call it as a frictional bearing okay and here you can see the rollers are used but in a sliding contact bearing the rollers are not used okay and in a rolling contact bearing uh, okay so uh, rolling contact bearings having you can see here the structure okay it's having the uh, uh, complicated design to maintain the balls okay but in sliding contact bearing having the simple design and it is cost is less to manufacture this one okay so you can see here and the rolling contact bearing produces the noise uh, and the sliding contact bearing produces the uh, noise and vibrations are less okay or it it works smoothly okay so <clears throat> uh, rolling contact bearings are used in like gear box you can see there are number of applications of the rolling contact bearing and you can generally see but in uh, sliding contact bearing this uh, sliding contact bearing generally used for high precision machineries uh, heavy equipments and the steam engines okay so these are the uh, general uh, uh, means uh, difference between the rolling contact bearing and the sliding contact bearing uh, i hope uh, you you got some information okay so you can uh, refer this uh, uh, table uh, for the difference between the uh, rolling contact bearing and sliding contact bearing okay so Uh, that's it for this video friend so uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel 
okay so uh, in next video we will discuss the uh, uh, sliding contact bearing uh, with the one more topic okay so uh, and later we will uh, we will continue the series on the uh, rolling contact bearing so uh, we are preparing on the uh, content related with the rolling contact bearings okay in detail and we will come up with the one by one video okay so uh, you can press the bell icon so that you will get the notification okay thank you for watching see you in the next video